Okay, this is part three. This is configuring R2 to work with your processor after you've created your simple program, upload, compiled and uploaded it in your VT Pro project. Uh, you're now ready to go ahead and uh, play with R2 on your Android device. Uh, first off, R2 can be purchased from the Android market. Um, and uh, here I've already done that, of course. And I go ahead and I can click on R2. Now, the first thing we need to do is configure our new system. You can call the system uh, anything you want here. This is just a, a friendly name. Uh, I'll go ahead and just call it uh, test for now. Now the next field, it says host name or IP address. Um, typically, uh, you would need to enter the IP address or the host name of your processor. Um, one of the cool little features we added in R2 here is a little scan um, uh, feature and this is showing me sort of like device discovery in toolbox on a PC it's showing me all the different um, processors that I can possibly uh, connect to I'm gonna go ahead and just choose that one it already picked out that IP address now the port remember the port number that we set in simple program in the symbol and again we use the native symbol so port A and port B should be exactly the same uh, the default is exactly uh, what I chose as well 41790 and even when you're using the native symbol please put exactly the same port number in both fields uh, the HD port uh, never change that uh, port 80 and the uh, the last thing here which you can't see too well because of the lighting is the password and we had that super secure 1234 now that we um, did that we're pretty much done. We just hit that and uh, go to connect. Now I haven't gone and uploaded my project yet, so I had a connection fail. But uh, that's all I really need to do to get uh, to get it to work. Um, here's my my existing bedroom uh, project uh, working working away. Uh, I actually have a few different projects on here as well. Um, main house. This is actually an iPad project, so you can see actually how tiny um, it is. Um, I love some of the features that we put into R2, like some of the gestures. Uh, there's a variety of other really cool settings um, in here. I encourage you guys just to go check it out. Um, things uh, that uh, will like disable the uh, automatic screen locking uh, when you're running R2. So make it really easy to get, um, uh, get back to the application, control application, if the thing powered down. Um, also a feature called proximity de detection. So when the device goes off and R2 is running, if I just walked over and sort of put my hand in front of it, it would turn on as well. A um, uh, variety of other things in here I uh, won't uh, bore you with right now. But uh, just wanted to show you uh, that final configuration step. And uh, you're ready to control your house, building, pool, whatever on your Android device. Thanks.